Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. Today's question is, for pulling wire through board holes and joists, studs, or rafters, those holes shall be at least blank inches from the edge of the stud. So what we're talking about is when you're drilling holes to run your wire with, how far does it have to be back off the stud so somebody doesn't drive a sheetrock screw into it or some other type of screw? And we're going to find that answer in 300.4A1. And it's going to let us know that when we are dealing with in exposed and concealed locations, cables raceway, and raceway type wiring methods installed through the board holes, joists, rafters, other framing members holes, shall be so that the edge of the joist or the stud or whatever it is shall not be or the hole shall not be less than an inch and a quarter from the nearest edge of the framing member so your hole has to be inset at least one inch and a quarter well you say what happens if i can't achieve that inch and a quarter you know sometimes you're in the corner of a wall or sometimes you just can't get the angle to achieve that inch and a quarter. Well, they actually sell things like these. These are called stud plates, and these are code compliant. They must be at least 1 16th inch thick, but if you buy them that are made for electrical, then you won't have any trouble, and you can actually just bang those on. They bang right on with a hammer. So you line it up uh, to cover. So let's say you were running some wire horizontally in a stud and you you know your hole was closer than an inch and a quarter you could come back line this up on the face of the stud and just nail it on and it's a protective plate to keep someone like a sheetrock sheetrocker or someone hanging a pitcher from driving it into the wire i am the electrical code coach and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you and you will in turn add value to others if there's anything that i can do to help you in life or business you can always email me at electricalcodecoach@gmail.com. at gmail.com let's get to it